Kenya added another silver medal to her medal tally at the ongoing 24th edition of the Deaf Olympics in Brazil with a glittering performance by Sharon Japterus Betok, who finished second in the women's 1500 meters. The gold went to Anastasia of Ukraine. Sharon Bitok finished second in the women 1500 meters final to add another silver medal to Kenya's medal tally at the ongoing Deaf Olympics in Brazil. The 24-year-old went head-to-head -head with Anastasia Sidorenko of Ukraine, but settled for the silver in a time of 4 minutes 49.98 seconds. Sidorenko took gold in 4 minutes 49.31 seconds, as Mio Okada of Japan won bronze in 4 minutes 52.78 seconds. Last year, Jepta Roos took part in the 1500 and 800-meter events at the World Dev Championships in Poland, finishing fourth and sixth respectively. Okay, so I was trying to encourage her. We had planned to encourage one another. But during the competition, I saw that I wasn't feeling very well and I felt that I needed to go faster. Because in Poland, we tried the same thing and I became fourth. So I thought this time round I need to try and think about myself. Yeah. Another Kenyan Alice Atieno Odhiambo missed the women's javelin bronze medal by a whisker, finishing fourth in the final while in the women's long jump. And Zazi Chaka Nyundo finished sixth in the final. We are really very happy and uh, we thank God for everything. And especially today, because there was change in weather, uh, it has rained. In the morning it was cool and uh, it was not very bad, but this afternoon you see when our 1500 meters women was starting, it rained and uh, it was a very big challenge. Meanwhile, Kenya national women deaf basketball team lost 79-34 to Italy in the quarterfinals of the games in Brazil. Previously at the group stage, Kenya lost 97-28 to Turkey, 101-20 to USA and 114-31 to Lithuania. Nevertheless, the national team progressed to the quarterfinals since only eight teams were competing in the women's category. We need to play more games, more pressure games, not just any games, but we need to play against teams that will give us pressure, will give us a run for our money anytime we have a game, and we'll be able to correct on that. Today we have had a match, we've played with Italy. I can say that we have had a problem to do with communication, especially the defense, when they were pressing us you know, we really needed that spirit, but we did not communicate well. Kenya will play two more ranking matches in the competition.